I love reversible decor because it helps you maximize your storage space. You can just, you can have a sign on one side, flip it around. There's a sign on the other side. And I don't know, I just like that. So today I joined a couple other friends and we're going to give you some reversible decor inspo. And I'm going to do it now. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Y'all, one of the things that I love about the DIY community is the ability for us to connect with one another and just kind of share ideas and collaborate. And so I asked a couple of friends to join me today and one of them was Sun from Sun's Arts. And if you check out her channel, which I'll have linked below, you'll see all the fun things that she makes. She does upcycle DIY, she does fall decor, she's done sunflower decor, decor, apple decor, just all kinds of things you'll see. If you just scroll down her page, there's gonna be something that you're gonna to wanna to check out. So I'll have that link below. And then also Jackie from Jackie Burns Creations. Now, Jackie does all kinds, she'll do shabby chic, she does Alice in Wonderland, she does fall, she does gingerbread. So you're gonna find some fun inspo from her as well. So check out her link below, as well as the link to the playlist. All right, now back to the DIYs. I still have some fence pickets left over, so I'm using that and I'm painting one with Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultramat paint in the color charcoal. And I did make two decals with my Cricut. And if y'all don't want to make decals, if y'all don't want to stencil, you could hand letter or you could find some stickers. <laughs> There's lots of different options, but I'm using decals and I'm going to use those as a stencil. So I'm just applying them to the front of the sign or at least one side of the sign because these are reversible, right? And once you get it pressed down firmly, I'm taking some Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin and one of those round sponge brushes that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm pouncing up and down lightly just to make sure that I've got really good coverage. And one of the things that I also do is I will flip this, look at me, I'll flip this around so that I can get another angle because sometimes you can't see where you've missed painting. And I do the same thing with the word hello. And this time I'm using, I think it's folk art paint in the color antique white. And again, just bouncing that little sponge brush up and down. And I then I'll flip it around. Just kind of look at it from different angles to make sure that I got really good coverage. Before the paint actually fully dries or anything, I do pull the stencil away. The, I always like to do this just so it doesn't like even stay stuck further because it's permanent vinyl. And oh, I thought I was going to show you something else. Okay, well now we're going to show you me painting the other side red with Rosolium's. It's not Rosolium. It's where I really chalk paint in the color crimson. And the decal that I cut out for this project is the word Mary. And I didn't, I didn't use a paper transfer tape big enough to cover the entire decal. So you see me struggling a little bit to make sure that nothing gets like wonky or anything like that. So next time, if you, if you do this project, maybe use a bigger piece of paper because a oh, paper transfer tape, because it'll you know, just save you a little bit of trouble. And then I'm embellishing this a little bit further with some snowflakes and with some just little random white dots. And this is how it turned out. It says, hello, pumpkin. I think it looks super cute. I did have to touch it up a bit. And then here's the reverse side. So yeah, super cute. And you'll be able to use it throughout the season. Next project. This one is actually foam board. This is not one of those fence posts. This is foam board and it's just a black foam board. And I cut it out to a square size. And then I'm using a decal that I cut out with my Cricut. One thing that I didn't do was weld that little tree together. So it's actually two pieces, but you know, that's fine. And then when you're pulling back on your, with your vinyl paper from your transfer tape so that you can apply it, you have to be really careful because I don't know if you can tell, have I done it yet? Maybe not, but I pull up one of the letters and I'm just kind of holding it with my finger. That's why my fingers are kind of I'm holding my fingers a little bit weird, but I applied to the front of this little decal. See, it says thankful. <laughs> now it's going to say thankful because I'm adding that T back in. And that's how simple making something like this can be with very inexpensive. Y'all, this turned out so cute and it was so easy to make. And you can really make any of the signs today using the same technique, using that foam board and then adding the little 
square dowels just kind of as a finishing touch to elevate the look a little bit. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I didn't show this part, but I took some paint stir sticks and I cut them down to size and then I just used wood glue to glue them together. And I'm using folk art paint in the color citrus lime, I think it is, citrus green, and I'm painting it. I'm painting, I'm making one sign and then a little mini sign as you can see there. And then I'm using folk art paint or Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson to add red at the top. And I was kind of using my little uh, craft stick there to gauge where I was going to paint. But as you can see, I'm, I think you guys know what I'm trying to make here. <laughs> but then I'm painting that paint stir stick with antique white and I'm going to paint the little craft stick at the, there I am. I'm painting that as well. <laughs> now I'm adding the eyes. I've glued on the little stick already, I think, but I'm, um, I'm making Grinch, the Grinch. And I'm just kind of freehanding his face. I did go back with a thicker paint pen and kind of do his mouth a little bit darker. Then I just used a yellow paint pen for his eyes. And here I am trying to kind of, I don't know, darken it up a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes I want to say, stop messing with it, Lisa. <laughs> and the reverse I needed to show you, but I used, um, I, at first I used Waverly wax in the color antique, and then I used just a couple different brown colors to get the color that I liked. And then I'm painting the pink stick that it's going to go across as his brim. I'm painting that black. And as, I don't know if you probably guessed by now, but I actually did the other side first, this side first, and then I did the Grinch side, but yeah. Anyway, I'm showing you what I did though. And I am using that little, my glue, heat gun to kind of dry it a little bit faster because I needed to lay it down. I didn't want to stick it anywhere. And now I am just trying to figure out where the eyes go. I'm using my paint pen to do it. And y'all, I don't know, my paint pens just don't seem to be that uh, what is it opaque or <laughs> whatever um now I'm adding the little beak onto the turkey that i'm making did you guess that it was a turkey oh and for his little hat you know like the little buckle on his hat like a pilgrim's hat i guess or whatever i added that add a little dot for his eyes but you know what i am going to glue on the little brim of his hat that's what i'm doing next but y'all I'm going to tell y'all something, and then you're going to go, oh, I see it. This is how the Grinch side turned out. Merry Grinchmas. I think it's tur I think it turned out cute, although my lettering, I don't know. I hand lettered. <laughs> I feel like it needs to be a little bit more darker, a little bit more noticeable, I guess. So maybe I'll go back and kind of go over those letters again. And this is the turkey side. Y'all, I'm missing a little red thing. I forget what that red thing's called, but I'm missing it. I just saw, saw that and I thought, you know what? I never I never did paint that on. But I really think they're super cute. And once I add the little red thing, they'll be done. Another fence post. And I'm painting this with Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color linen. There's not much to say. You can see me painting it. That That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> I cut out another decal using my Cricut. And again, if y'all don't have these, you can hand letter. You can use stickers. Don't let stuff like not having a cricket stop you from creating. Anyway, I'm using it as a stencil and particularly on this one, I, this is why I recommend that you use removable vinyl because this one has a little bit, a couple of issues later on in the process. Once you got it on, I go over it with the same color as the color of the piece that it already is. Like it's already white. So I'm just going over it with white again to add a base coat. Some people use Mod Podge, but particularly because I'm using permanent vinyl, I don't want it sticking anything else helping it stick even more. So I'm going over it with that just black paint actually, and it kind of comes out gray because I didn't rinse out my sponge brush, but see me pulling things up. It gets all over my hands because I do pull it up when it's wet because I don't want it to stick down like you know, and then be like really hard to pull up. But y'all look, I'm going to show y'all. See, it got all like when I pulled up this, the 
stencil, it gets all kind of wonky. So right here, you see me going in with some black paint to just kind of fix it, you know, quote unquote. But what I actually end up doing is going over it with my black paint pen. And that works a lot better. Felt like I had a little bit more control of it. And then the areas where the white came up, I just went back and added some more white to just kind of clean it up and make it look a little bit better. All right, this one's going to be fast and quick and easy. Painting it with Rustoleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color linen. Again, not much to say about that except here's how you paint it. Or here's how I painted it. <laughs> now I'm adding two eyes. Y'all know what this is going to be. It's, it's not a ghost. Because I guess it could be a ghost, right? It's not a ghost. It's going to be a snowman. So I'm adding on some little button dots for the smile and then a little nose all right this is how one side turned out gobble gobble and i think it's super cute super simple neutral colors i like that the only thing i don't like it's a little crooked but you know what hey who's perfect in this world not me and here's the other side snowman it's a little off center too <laughs> Gosh, Lisa, I was like looking at it now. I mean, it looks fine when I'm creating it, but then when I look back at it, I'm like, oh, I kind of moved that over a little bit. But anyway, I can always go back and fix that. Let me know what you think in the comments below though. Y'all, here's how all of my projects turned out today. And I just think they turned out super cute. You can make really cute and affordable DIYs and you can maximize your storage by using reversible decor. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thank you for joining me today. Be sure to check out the playlist as well as Sun and Jackie's channels, which I'll have listed below. And if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on like TikTok or Instagram, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!